Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spire Ascension Mode mini-series. This is of course the mini-series where we do all 20 levels of Ascension Mode. Right now we are on Ascension Mode level 16 with the Ironclad and uh, it's a very very difficult. This game is very hard now. <laughs> the uh, second floor in particular is, being, is seeming to be the biggest problem. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's try and do another run. So we can obtain a random relic. I don't think you ever want to lose Burning Blood. Uh, losing two cards, losing two cards and just me is pretty good. But I think I'm just gonna take a common relic, and it's a deck stone. That's actually great. That's actually really good, especially on the first floor. It's super good. So that's actually nice. I, I'm very much happy about that. Um, probably can kill us. Oh, we weakened. Never mind. We weakened. I don't want to block twice this since we weakened. They're not gonna be able to kill anyone anyway. This way we can mitigate at least some of the damage. So we can attempt to heal for the future. Okay. So we've lost five, we're hitting six, so we've got a net worth or a net growth of one in that fight, so that's not bad. Taking a twin strikes. I've got a card on my upgrade the twin strikes rather, but it's just more damage for one energy. So yeah, this has been going pretty bad. I've been having a, a pretty hard time with, with Slay the Spy in Ascension Mode. Specifically, it's really been kicking my butt, but uh, what can you do? Sure can. Okay, so we have a good run here. We have a good one that actually has a chance here, so I would like to attempt to uh, to take this one seriously. Because this is really good. Like a shuriken uh, twin strike deck is just super strong. So, I would be very happy if we could uh, pull the, pull a win out of this one. I will definitely take another twin strike. I thought about the iron wave since we got the odd, sm uh, odd smooth stone, which is of course giving us more decks, which makes iron wave even better than what it is. I mean, it's not bad but it's also not amazing it's just kind of average on full hp i'm tempted to fight this elite i'm gonna do it Ooh, it's a very scary elite fight for us uh but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm just gonna pop out of the bat i want that, that strength upgrade like heavily and i knew bash was coming with twin strike or at least i knew bash was coming i wasn't sure about the twin strike obviously but yeah you, you got a dps race yeah i think um we we'll point this to try and out defend this there we go very nice fight. Took 40. We healed 6. We took 34. Definitely a struggle off. It's still a card I think is always worth taking. Mmm. This is a little bit unfortunate. Can't kill anyone and... We're not going to get weakened though. We're going to take a lot of damage here. Uh, I can't really afford to have taken this with him. It was a bad draw. We needed uh, the... Oh, I'm... Oops. I misclicked. So I'm going to take a 7 extra damage. That's a big deal. I don't know why Cleave had to wait until the last possible card on my deck to show up. That's just a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm going to take a Rage here. I'm not sure if it's the right choice, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to upgrade. I'm just going to upgrade the Shrugged off. I think it's super good. I see 11 block plus decks is 12 block for basically for you. Preserved Insect is very nice if we decide we want to fight more elites. And with it, I think I will rest up here so I can fight another elite. Because with Preserved Insect, I'm, I'm super confident. Because, I mean... What are the options that we fight? Well, we're either fighting a... A lug of... Uh, the Gremlin Nub, which is really good for us, or... We're gonna fight the... Um... Three Sentinels, which is also kind of good for us, in the sense that we, uh... Have that Cleave, which is helping a little bit, and we did remove one of the... The Fence on the deck. So that helps quite a bit. I don't think any of these are good enough. Like, Perfecta Strike is tempting because we've got Twin Strikes and Normal Strikes. But it is pretty good damage. I don't know. So it's 6 plus 2 for every strike. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 strikes. So it's, four, it's 20 damage. That's actually... I mean, the Perfecta Strike literally does more. So I'm going to skip these. Do we go to the shop first in need? I think we'll do it that way. Shop... I mean, Flash of Steel is super good because it's just really good for us to get the, um, to get the, the strength bonus. It is a mini lugger button. That makes me a very happy man. I bash there, even though I won't get the strength upgrade. I think it's still the right choice. And I will block here once because he's probably dead next turn and I'm going to take this damage that way. So. There we go. Beautiful. 
This is good. Chain's Ashes. Not too good. Uh, uppercut I will take because Weaken is super good and so is the Vulnerability. So I'll definitely be taking it and I'll also upgrade it immediately. So this fight will be scary. I'm not going to pretend it's not going to be. It's going to be scary. That's just a fact that we have to deliver it. But if we could get like, I almost want to say just very good uh, draws on the right turns, we could find ourselves in a good place. So this is like one of those bad draw situations. Maybe I should have strike three there for the strength up because I haven't got a single strength up yet. But mainly because I'm just really focusing on getting the. Uh four it's not worth four damage for three damage. It's not worth it. I will take the full twelve damage here because he is weakened. So basically, if it was a turn for us to, if it was a turn for us to go for the damage there, it was that turn. I'm gonna shrug it off and then uppercut. I want him weakened for next turn, but I also want to make sure I don't take too much damage here. Mm, this is bad. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to strength up pretty much. I'll take the bulb. So we like are in potential for the death right now. We are on death con one as they say, but the weekend is gonna help quite a bit. Here we go. I don't see us losing this fight now. Pretty sure we win, but you never know. Could go either way, so we shouldn't get too confident here. Might have wanted to remove one extra defend and one less of the uh, alternative option, which was the strikes that I removed. I mean, limit break. It's tempting, but I'm gonna go feed here. Limit breaks are a little bit too hard to activate. Is the problem? Um, transform. I'm just gonna take Sozu. I'd like to transform all the strikes and things in the deck, but I don't think now's the time. I think Sozu is the right choice. So what do we really don't want to fight are the birds. Like the birds are our biggest problem right now. So we kind of would like to avoid as many of them as possible. I am tempted to fight multiple elites on this floor because of preserved insect, but second floor, as I mentioned in the beginning of this episode, it is literally the toughest floor out of all the floors in this game. And I'm not just saying that, I'm being super serious when I say this. It is insanely, insanely tough. It's super, super tough. So, uh, okay, so I'm gonna start off like that. To that, to that, and uh, double spam. Beautiful. So far, this fight's going really nicely. I'm liking it a lot. Ho oh, ho, what a nice feed there for us. Very nice. Metallicize, always good, I think. Four block for pretty much free is nice. This shop sucks, but I gotta go. We gotta go to it. We liked offering a lot. I think card removal is where we're at right now. Combine poison spore thoughts not good, five beans not good. Thunder cap's actually not bad though. It's one energy, which means we can get a vulnerable and then do two more attacks. Hmm, I think that we just want to remove one uh, strike for now. Just keep that the deck reasonably small, but still keep a couple of the defense in the deck, just because I think the defense are still very good. One of those, one of those, and uh, I'm just gonna twin strike here. I think that's fine. We're gonna take a lot of damage on this fight, unfortunately. Which makes the elite fight that's coming up a little bit more scary to to do. You know? I gotta be like, hmm, do I wanna do it? Don't I wanna do it? It's a hard choice. This does help a lot though. I'm gonna use the feed here just because I need to make sure he kind of dies next turn. Uh, so I need to get as much damage as I could out there just in case I didn't draw enough damage this turn. But I did, so it was fine. Anger is tainting because of the... Anger is super good because of the uh, shuriken activation with it, so I'm, I'm definitely definitely going to do that. I'm just going to get the strength up here and move along. So we should be able to kill the front guy, which I think is very important. And I'm going to play two defense to mitigate damage taken, because we're going to get failed now, and next thing going to hit us with 22, which is way too much damage in my personal opinion, but what can you do about it? We did mitigate quite a bit of it, so that's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. I love that so much. Uh, I'm gonna use flash still first, then I use the bash, and I use the strike and the strike. 
Do I feed? Oh, I can't feed you. Never mind. I said I was gonna be like, do I feed you? And then obviously that choice was made for me. So, so we're gonna take a lot of damage on this turn again. So we really would like to get a feed to make this worth it, but we don't. So it's okay. I would very much prefer to feed. Spot the weakness. That could be super good for us. So that could be so good for us. Talus is really upgraded. I think I think you don't want it though. I think it's a little bit too slow is the problem we have. Yeah, uh, maybe I played that wrong, I'm not sure. I mean, I know I had to knock him down. That was a no-brainer, but the question was... How I did it. Was it the right choice? No, I'm not sure. We got the strength up, which is good. And we got Metallica up, which is good. Because we're not going to want to play too many skill cards here. We are going to, though, but... Because we do need to get some kind of attacks up. 41 to do is quite a lot. And to take 24 is not something I really wanted to do. Play Rage first. Uh, play Flash of Steel. A little bit of that uppercut action. Some strike. And a nice little defense. There we go. We're not taking any damage. He's pretty much dead next turn. Which means fighting the uh, to fight the upcoming uh, elite is now more tempting, and now we finally go back to like almost normal HP, which is very good. Pommel strike, I do like a pommel strike, but I think today we're gonna pass it up. I mean, the only thing I want to upgrade here is anger or rage, pretty much. But I'm just gonna rest because of the elite, the fact that we're fighting elite now. Yeah, I'm super happy I, I did made that choice. I'm really really happy I made that choice, honestly. I think that was the right choice. We're not going to take any damage. This wizard should die next turn, which it did. We can set up for the future. Got a little bit of the metallicars out. So far, so good. We are taking quite a bit of damage here, but maybe we can uh, mitigate it. I'm going to hit you for 11, well, for 16, and I'm just going to end my turn. I think that was the right play. I, I kind of forgot about Churn's Ashes, so I could have played that actually better, but I did make a little bit of a mistake. That's my, that's my bad. I definitely did mess up there. Let me sh I was hoping for Flash to steal. I kind of want to just kill the Grim Leader next turn, so I'm just going to go for the Grim Leader kill if I can. And I should be able to definitely get it. There we go. I, I, I saw that I could get the Grim Leader kill without having to worry about the minions too much, so... That's what I decided to do. And the old coin is great. That's a good card. True gets very nice. I'll take it. I'm also going to just immediately upgrade it. There we go. I'd love to upgrade Anger at some point, but it's a little bit difficult. Toxic Egg. Very nice. Any skills you want to add in the future. My question is, do we want to find an Elite? Or do we want to go to uh, another rest and then a shop with lots of money and then a rest? I think we probably want to go to rest. Remove a card, upgrade all strikes and defense. Ooh. That's a tough one. Because the upgraded defense and the upgraded strikes are really good, but we could remove a basic defend or a basic strike. Well, let's think about this. So, base defend, kind of, we would like to remove a base defend pretty much from the deck, I think, at this point. Let's upgrade. I'm going to upgrade anger at this point because we're going to get a lot of angers and they are free, which means to use them for strength growth is pretty good. This is an extremely bad first turn, but what can you do? Good thing we moved uh, all the... Nice. It's a good thing we removed all the... Weaknesses from our deck, or we might have been in trouble there, but... Uh, I mean, we removed one of those defense, or we might have got zero defense in the deck, and that could have been bad. So I did choose to use up the feed there, not get the max HP, because I just want to try and, like, attempt to kill this guy as soon as I can. Because he's, he's actually a very big problem, like a very scary problem that I did not want to have to deal with. But yeah, we should take a tiny bit of damage and he should die, so that's fine. This is a good deck. So far, so good. I'm feeling confident about this. Another struggle off I will add, which means I do want to remove another defend if I can. Limit Break is tempting now. Now Limit Break is tempting. Also, Intimidate is also very tempting. Because it's good. Also, uh, Bronze Scales is good. So I want Bronze Scales. I want to remove one more defend from the deck. And then... I can't get Limit Break no more. I think I'm going to take Intimidate. Because Intimidate is just nice to get rid of. Mm, yeah, you can have all my money, it's fine. 
doesn't bother me. I just shop. That's fine. Uh, Smith. Smith, 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 Smith. If we're gonna upgrade something, it should be Twin Strike, I think. It's four more damage. Where this is two more damage, more HP. The Flash of Steel is also tempting. So is the Rage. The Rage is also actually... The Rage is actually super tempting. Because we might be able to abuse that. Advantage. So I want to get rid of like all these like negatives as soon as I can. Honestly. So I'm just going to use this right away. So I'm not going to get the strength up here, which sucks. Because I think I got a really bad opening hand. Would have very, very much uh, been... I would have been very happy. Let me put it that way to get that strength up. So I'm just going to tank the damage here. I need the strength up. And I need to get the strength up earlier. I can't wait. Unfortunately, I can't wait. I need to go full strength build. Even if it costs me a tiny bit of HP early. I'm hoping that I will make up for it in the future. So that is at least the hope right now. Bash you. So we did get the strength up. we not taking the damage here. But we lost a lot of HP. Like a lot. Obviously, shrug it off. Beautiful flash of steel. A little bit of that cleave action. A little bit of this action. Get that strength up. And uh, another struggle means I take no damage. Oh, and I get a nice free ang in there too. Beautiful. Got three strength. We got some metallicize. You know, we got a lot of good stuff happening right now. We haven't got rid of his artifacts yet, which is really bad for us, obviously, because we want to be able to weaken him soon and bundle him as soon as we can. So this is like, this hopefully weakens. It's vulnerable. <laughs> I needed you to weaken my good friend. Okay, so if I use true good I'll get 10 if I use strike and do damage I'll get 5 I won't get a shuriken play out of it so I'm just gonna do that if I would have got a shuriken play out of it I would have done it but it, I didn't so I just I couldn't afford to lose too much you know beautiful 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 give me a strike oh it's not a strike but it's almost better awesome so the, the weekend would be very important for us right now, and we didn't get him unfortunately. This is a little bit scary. He will die to the first strike of the thorns. Yay! We beat the second floor, which is in my opinion the hardest floor. Hundred percent offering. That's like a no-brainer, right? Uh, add two wounds to thing. I can't do that. I'm just gonna take tiny house. Tiny house gives me like everything, a lot of stuff I want. I will take it in flame. It just speeds up the process, but awaken one. I kind of regret taking that in flame now, but it's okay. Because we have two powers. Interesting. We're going to have to see how it goes. Uh, I probably don't want to fight too many elites on the third floor. Because the third floor elites are super strong. It's kind of insane. You know, honestly. So let's go like that. Like that. And like that. I'm going to shrug it off here. Oh, I was hoping for cleave or something like along those lines. So this is a little bit bad. We're going to take quite a bit of damage now. Let's go flash steel on you. Uppercut on you. Turn strike on you. And then we can use true grit on this. That's, that's okay. It's not great, but it's not too bad. We don't really have a deck that handles these guys pretty very well. I'm pretty sure you've all noticed. So that kind of makes it a little bit hard, but... Okay, a little bit of uh, this. This is going to intimidate, it's going to do a lot. A little bit of flame. Probably should have played that in a little bit of different order. There we go. Oh, I mean, just look how much damage it took there. There was obviously way too much damage, so that's a big problem. Uh, lose 4 max HP, get a Wrath and heal. I do have a shop coming up, and I can probably remove the Wrath of the shop, so I'm going to do it. I don't think it's too bad. Uh, I'm going to add one colorless card if I see something good. Ah, uh, Violence! I think violence is super good for us. We want to get, we want to make sure we're getting strikes out as much as we can. Uh, upgrade a war cry is super good. I really wanted to remove a uh, card, but uh, the wrath, but unfortunately, I, I was I miscalculated the things I had. like. This is why I wanted this because I had a feeling like if something like that could happen, I would be very happy. I'm just gonna use a normal defend because I don't want to take, uh, I don't want to draw like a two and a cost card. Which is what I was worried was going to happen. And it's kind of exactly what happened. So. I'm going to shrug it off here before I use that. I'm not going to pop offering. I think I can kill him naturally next turn without offering. Let's hope that's the case. Because if not, I'm going to take a lot more damage. Okay, so obviously I made a mistake. I should have offering. <laughs> Oopsie. 
and take a lot of damage for it. But we got a feed out of it, so maybe it was better that way? I don't know. It's one of those... It's difficult to know. Another war cry. I think you will add another war cry. So we're adding a lot of cards to the deck, and you might be like, ooh, he's making that new mistake of adding too many cards to his deck. You could be right, but you could also be wrong. So, yeah, this fight's not that scary, actually. Now this fight is super scary. I don't know if that was the right choice or not. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so obviously I want to kill off as many of these guys as I can. Okay, so he will die. So far, so good. This one is dead, and that's a big attack coming in, which is a problem. I'm gonna pop offering here. I think this is. A, if there was ever a turn to pop offering, it's right now. Okay, so a little bit of that. A little bit of this, I think, is good. Some he dies to spikes. So as long as we can put enough defense up, we should be fine. There we go. We even got a strength up, we're not taking damage, he's dead to spikes. All we need to do is uh, get the uppercut on the Reptomancer so and we should be fine. So I'm going to Talisize. I'm also going to use uh, Warcry. I'm going to put the Violence back on top of the deck for next turn. I'm going to use this, that, and that. Get a strength up. Got the Violence coming so we can know we can get a four attacks and we should be able to kill like this. At least I'm hoping. So violence, there we go. Intimidate. A bit of that flash of steel action, a little bit of that anger action. Uh, some cleave action. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a good elite fight. Bottled lightning. Ooh, this is choices. This is choices. Very. I think you want to put offering in your opening hand every time. Because I could be wrong, but I think offering should give us the best advantage we can get. So that was like a very... Very funny uh, slash frustrating situation. Obviously, as you saw there, we got uh, wall paint, which upgrades two skills. But we only we only had one skill that was an upgrade. <laughs> so what actually ended up happening is we actually got nothing out of that. It was kind of like a dead turn, but it's okay. I don't know. It's gonna happen. Again. This weaken is huge, by the way. So obviously, you want to take out one of the exploder boys first. You want to make sure. You you get the kill on the Exploder Boy, so I'm going to try my best to focus one down as best I can. Nothing's going to... Um, nothing's going to exhaust. I don't want to take the damage. I think Armaments, you just like upgrade the other strike for the future, why not? I don't want to take the damage here, really. You know, it's just a bit too much. There we go. Now, killing the spike boy is obviously going to be very hard for us because, you know, we don't really have, like, super good defense. So, I'm slightly worried about that. I'm just going to feed on him. I'll take the damage for the max HP. I think it's fine. And I don't think you want another walker. I think that's okay. Smithy time. We could smith bash for more vulnerability. Uh, I'm just going to flash, uh, do flash of steel. Because the little bit of extra damage from Flash of Steel is always free. It doesn't cost us anything. So, Okay, I'm going to pop this right away. I'm just going to pop this now. I hope that was the right choice, but I don't know. Hard to know. Pop this. I don't need to have the defense. I'm going to put both defense. I'm going to put almonds back, I guess. I'm going to get the almonds immediately if I use Flash of Steel, though. Do I need it? One, two. I'm, I'm going to need it. Man. Okay. So I'm going to use it, and I'm going to suck a little bit, but it's fine. I had to do it there because I really wanted that strength up. I think the strength up was of the utmost importance for us. Upgrade of War Cries, as you can tell, are obviously really good. 8 block, 10 block, 8 blocks, man. Beautiful. That was a very good turn for us. We got a lot of strength out of it. We took no damage. That was really good. That was like almost textbook, in my opinion. Okay, so a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and... You know, I'm going to defend. I don't need to attack. He's dead next turn, and I would rather save the HP. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is, this is going very well. I, mean, I feel like I feel like we have a chance. I think Flame Barrier has a place on the deck because of the Awakened One and how he fights. Oh, this is, this is frustrating. I don't want to give up any of these. 
I guess if I'm getting a stunning, it should probably be... Uh, I, I want the weakness of the uppercut, so I can't lose that. Metallicize is 4-3. Uh, metallicize is the power, you know what, let's just get rid of that. Because if there was something to get rid of, it's probably the power, right? We're fighting, we're fighting against a boss that gets stronger when we play powers, so... Let's do that. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Start with the rage. Gotta love it. Okay, I want to bash first to make sure this guy dies, kind of. That even gave us free max HP, so that was really good. That was a very, that was a pretty good first turn. If we can kill the other cultists in the second turn, I think we have a chance here. I'm gonna start with this. War Christ, fine. Let's put the strike back because we can go fetch it with the. Okay, so I'm gonna play power. He's gonna get a strength up. It sucks. But unfortunately, it's part of the game, man. Okay, so we shouldn't take damage here yet. Uh, uppercut's coming, which we wanna use in the awaken one to keep him as weak as we can. Everything is really upgraded in my hand, which is really nice. Um, but it's also kind of awkward right now because I don't really have... So I think do that, do that. He will die to the fire and then weaken him for longer. We want the awaken one weakened for as long as possible. Yeah, okay, beautiful. We took quite a bit of damage there, but so did the awaken one. So, you know, maybe that was good. Walk right. Mm, not exactly what I wanted. I'm going to walk right again. Okay, let's get rid of the... Bash. Okay. I think you still uppercut. You definitely anger. Um, obviously, twin strikes your highest DPS here. And then we want some form of defense. I'm just going to pop one of these. There we go. So, Metallic, as, uh, as you can tell, would have been definitely helpful. It would have kept us not alive, but it would have definitely given us more HP at least. So, something to keep in mind. Please give me an attack. Oh, thank you. I want that strength up. That's beautiful. We keep getting strength up, so we keep getting stronger and stronger, which is obviously super important. Didn't get an attack yet, it's a little bit unfortunate. Attack. I'm gonna trigger one of the defense, just to get rid of it, to thin the deck out a little bit so more attacks show up. Slightly faster. I think that's the right choice at least. So this twin strike will kill him, and then we will get another strength up and move to the next phase. So I think that was definitely the right choice. 43 damage. That is unfortunately quite a bit of damage, and we got a very, very unfortunate turn there. So we're gonna tank it now, big time. Okay, half our HP gauge gone. Not not what we want, definitely. Our rage. Rage, that was such a clutch rage. Oh my word. Keep getting the strengths up. Get some defense up. I'm feeling like we have a chance to win this Ascension Mode one, guys. I'm feeling like we have a chance. So right now we are dead on the field, as you are seeing right now. Really hoping uppercut showed up there, but it didn't. One damage. Oh, oh, this does. You know what? I'd rather this is block. You know what? Let's just block. Make him take. You take six extra damage, and it's kind of good for me, right? So I'm gonna start off with the uppercut because I want him to be vulnerable. Into that flash, and this is an essential mode one win. Oh my word! My first run for the day, and I get a win in 27 minutes. Thank you, Shuriken! Continue. You ready, okay? 1250 damage done. Victory! Essential level 17 unlocked! Wow, okay, my first one for today. I didn't expect that. I'm still like half asleep and I was just like chilling. But I mean, there you go. Shuriken, guys. That's like the best thing in the game. And Odd Smooth Stone was actually so important because all those 1 HPs you save through all those flaws allows you to rest less upgrade more i mean look at this deck almost everything is upgraded what a nice run oh my word what a great great ascension mode level six run super super happy about that thank you so much for everyone for watching this episode of today's by ascension mode mini series if you enjoyed it please be sure to hit that like button it helps me out a lot and i really appreciate it. leave a comment what you think about the run do you think i won just because of shuriken or was this something i was overlooking was the chariot's ashes damage actually important and even though i misplayed it quite a few times how did that affect me uh, for now though thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate all the support in the series it means a lot we are in essential mode level 16 done on the anchor and we'll be heading on over to essential mode level 17 and see how we do there for now thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time with more slay the spire essential mode